Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this video, I've got Christina, the expert with Batch Skip Tracing, Batch Service, and they just launched Batch 3.0. We're gonna be talking about what is skip tracing in real estate. Hey guys, I got the expert, Christina Kelly. She is gonna show us the ins and outs of skip tracing and what they're doing over at Batch Service, Batch Leads, Batch 3.0. They got some really cool stuff. You can even skip trace and dial right into the software to save you hours and hours on time. Let's jump right in. How are you today, Christina Kelly? I am so fabulous, Brent, and I'm super excited to talk about skip tracing with you. Just a couple of months ago, I started with Batch and I didn't even know what skip tracing was. Yeah, I mean, who better to get than the professionals? I mean, Batch skip tracing, they're putting the name of skip tracing. It's like Band-Aid to adhesive bandage or Kleenex to the tissue. Uh, so you guys are kind of like making it a household name. Uh, you guys definitely have the superior product of finding the right numbers, the right emails. And I'm just happy to have, you know, the expert Christina talking about what is skip tracing in real estate? So skip tracing, it's actually really simple. It's basically the process of tracking down content information. So our platform batch leads, we give you all the tools to go in and find your, you know, distress properties, your motivated sellers. But if you can't contact these people, then what, what good does that data do? So basically that's the simple definition of skip tracing. It's uncovering, unmasking, and finding the right contact information. So how do we know that we're re reaching the right people? So we have a couple of terms here at Batch. We can call it match rate. I always call it hit rate. And what this means is the game battle battleship. We got a hit. <laughs> so if I send, you know, a hundred properties, um, into the system to get skip traced, I'm most likely going to get 98 to a hundred, um, back with the right party contact. So the right party contact means that it is the actual single person or the right entity that you're wanting to connect with on I, that. I can so attest to that. I've been skip tracing all morning before we got on on the call here because you guys also just upgraded your system so i've been playing with it trying to break it all morning and i got a hundred percent hit rate you know a hundred percent match um that is like unheard of and what's really cool is i didn't even know it until earlier this morning i almost like fell over backwards is because I saw all the LLCs as well as the LLPs and the trust were also getting phone numbers and emails. And before my team would have to get to go and through the public records and find out who the agent was or the, the registered agent or the principal and then skip trace that person individually with their mailing address. So it was like adding hours of time and you guys took care of it and like, a millisecond can't wait to show you how quick it is to skip trace like i just can't even imagine having to go through public records and doing taking all those steps when you can just literally click a button and get all the right party contact information and you can trust that it's going to be one of the highest and most accurate hit rate yeah batch skip tracing has changed the rules to the game yeah our engineers everyone here we have really we're customer obsessed and so what that means is we want to maximize your experience and so everyone is super focused on quality rather than quantity, which is why our hit rates are so high. Because think about it. If you're calling 50 really good leads and you know you're getting the right party, that's going to be time well spent rather than calling 200 that you're not sure if you have the right number. Spend one hour calling rather than the week it used to take. You know, it used to take a week right. sometimes. Right. And what else is cool? And I always like to talk about this because I don't think that people really think about it or understand. So we have back skip tracing, we have batch leads, we have batch dialer, we have batch driven, and all of those systems, they feed back to that core API, which is constantly updating. And that's how we keep our data so accurate. Super fun. So it's not just skip tracing. It's a, it's a way you can call actual dial the phone numbers that you just skip trace and the leads for you know, the absentee owners or the vacant properties, or we call them like uh, zombie properties here in Florida or notice of default, like all those things. And also, you know, I was playing around, like you can literally virtually drive for dollars. 
Like we're not spending gas money. I've searched it. I checked out where our office address is and like just drove down the road virtually. And I felt like I was gonna wreck the car because I was on the wrong side of the road for a little while. So I had to get back on the right side of the road. I did that this morning too. If you want, I can switch over and um, show you some of the new features in Skip Tracing. You know, to tell people how, like you guys are making an amazing offer right now, but if you go to batchleadsbrent.com, you guys give a thousand free property searches right off the bat at seven day free trial. Am I correct with that? Mm -hmm. To really get in and play with the system and just see what it's all about. So that's batchleadsbrent.com. So if you like listen to this video and watch this video and inspired by it, go take action. Yes, you do get a thousand free leads. The skip tracing is inside of it. So you'll be able to play, feel it out and experience how fun it is to be able to just easily skip trace. So I just want to show you a few things. So you can skip trace three different ways in batch. So you can import your own properties right from the skip trace tab. It's super easy to, I'm not going to actually demo it, but you would just drop your file here you would map your data. So you just want to make sure that you have the, the contact information, property address, and phone number, and then you hit done and you're good to go. And then you're skip trace. So import your own properties. We could do one at a time, or we can do bulk. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. So in batch, if you don't know, if you have a skip trace property, you can actually filter based on, you can filter for skip trace or not skip trace. So I'm just going to pull up all of our not skip traced. That way we know how many we're working with not skip traced properties. So I have 44,000 not skip traced properties. What I can do is click on any one of these properties. And right here in the property details, I can skip trace. So pay attention to this little area where it says phone one through five and emails. Go ahead and hit it, skip trace. Now it's estimated. I just want to point this out. We're not going to charge you if we don't have a match for it. So yeah. that's why it says estimated cost. I'm going to hit skip trace and look at that instantly. And imagine how long it would take if you had to like, I'm really like dating myself, but what if you had to look up this person in the phone book? That's faster than just... Right like anything. It's just yeah, phenomenal. Sure. And now I'm not going to do this, but this is a new feature that just came out. So you could literally work with a property, skip trace them and call them right from batch leads. Now you just hit that the phone number it's going to call from is included in your batch account. And instead of hitting call now, I'm going to hit cancel, but you can literally connect to them right away. A couple of things I want to show you over here just to pay attention to is that we not only give you right party contact, but we're really good about locating if it's a cell phone or a landline. So you can see that icon over here. Because if they don't answer, we text them as well. Because yeah. Most people are in, in meetings and busy. Like there's no way that like I could take all the phone calls that come through, but if you text me, I'm probably going to respond to you. Yeah. We have a lot of cool features I can show you in the text where you can personalize it. And most of the time when you personalize it, people are a lot more likely to respond. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we have a lot of tools there too. So one other thing with the skip tracing I wanted to point out was that remember earlier when I talked about all of our core APIs feeding back to each other, if any of these phone numbers had been verified. So if you were to call right now and someone were to, was to connect, it would put a little check mark right here where this I is to say that it's a verified phone number. We're pretty confident that the numbers that we pulled back on this property are going to get you to the right party contact, but we've also taken it a step further. And when we do know for 100% sure that someone has made a connection, we'll go ahead and put a verified on that. So you don't have to question that either. Amazing. I love it. All right. So now I'm going to show you the last way to skip trace. And I'm going to, let's see, I need to pull up a shorter list. So I'm going to just list stack real quick because I know I don't have many properties on six or more lists. Oh, well, actually there, that's because I had the no on the skip trace. So I must've already skip traced them. So let's go actually bring a better list. All right, we're just gonna start over. So I'm going to pull up, let's see, one of these quick filters. So you can always search in a quick filter. I'm gonna pull up pending just because it's a good size list to skip trace for no other reason, just for demo purposes. So what you would do here is you would select all the properties by clicking on this little box, or you can select them up here. Yep. Then you would go to the actions tab. You would hit skip trace. Now it's saying 
hey, all right, I'm going to skip trace all of these properties for you. This is the estimated cost. Again, we're not going to charge you if we've already skipped trace or if we don't have a record. So what you'll do then is just hit skip trace. And I forgot you do need to make a file name. So usually I just make it the date. And then we're going to hit skip trace. And there you go. It's a success. So I'm just going to show you one area where you can go to see the progress of your skip trace. It can take a few minutes, but over here in the skip trace tab, you can see the progress of all your skip traces. So if just take a look at these numbers, right? Yeah, like, so oh my gosh, 97%, 95%, 100, 100. <laughs> pretty good. So yeah. much better than what it was just a few short months ago. And I've right. used a lot of other skip tracing softwares and you hardly ever get above 50 percent so wow. that's phenomenal that's amazing so this could take a few minutes i know it takes over here in my desk area i have a little bit slower internet so if you were on regular internet you'd probably be done by now but if we were to go back to that list and let's see i can't remember the filters that i chose but um you could pull up that list again and you can see their phone numbers in there. It's, there we go. There it's go. done. So now we got 82 out of 88. We had already skipped trace one of those because I pulled it up and did the one demo. So, you know, we're probably more at like a 94% hit rate. <laughs> so that's all about skip tracing. Is there anything else? No, this is phenomenal. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you smash that subscribe button. We're gonna do several more videos like this. We, we do these videos five days a week and head on over right now to batchleadsbrent.com. Get started, take action. Don't just be a information gatherer, be an action taker and let those small wins add up.